Good morning, church family. Pastor Dan here. And to visitors, welcome to our devotional channel here at Rockhampton Baptist. Uh, This Sunday at our church is is Sign Up Sunday. So it's time to think about volunteering and and where you're going to serve within the church. Because at the heart of the church in in what we do in our ministries uh, is volunteers. People giving up their time for a certain cause and vision and to uh, work towards the vision of our church and what God is doing in our city. So it's useful as we think about volunteering and and putting our name for different uh, ministries to to understand what a little bit of what the Bible says about volunteering and and kind of Jesus's heart for serving out of what what we have and the capacity that we have. So I want to draw you to 1 John 3 verse 11 to 24, which hints a little bit about volunteering and speaks about Uh, meeting certain needs. So let me draw you to those words. This is the message that you heard from the beginning. We should love one another. We must not be like Cain who belonged to the evil one and killed his brother. And why did he kill him? Because Cain had been doing what was evil and his brother had been doing what was righteous. So don't be surprised, dear brothers and sisters, if the world hates you. If we love our brothers and sisters who are believers, it proves that we have passed from death to life. But a person who, is no, who has no love is still dead. Anyone who hates another brother or sister is really a murderer at heart. And you know that murderers don't have eternal life within them. We know that real love is because Jesus gave up his life for us. So we ought to give up our lives for our brothers and sisters. If someone has enough money to live well and sees a brother or sister in need but shows no compassion, how can God's love be in that person? Dear children, let's not merely say that we love each other. Let us show the truth by our actions. Our actions will show that we belong to the truth, so we will be confident when we stand before God. Even if we feel guilty, God is greater than our feelings. He knows everything. Dear friends, if we don't feel guilty, we can come to God with bold confidence and we will receive from him whatever we ask because we obey him and do the things that please him. And this is his commandment. We must believe in the name of of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. Those who obey God's commandments remain in fellowship with him and he with them. And we know he lives in us because the spirit he gave us lives in us. So when we think about serving and think about uh, putting your name to volunteer for a various ministry, uh, program or event in our church, we want to ensure that one thing we're serving out of love, serving out of the love in which Jesus gave us, that he set his life for us, serving out of, of the life which he laid down, Jesus' life that he laid down to death for us to give us life, that is what we need to be serving out of, serving out of that love and life, and serving out of the compassion that, that Jesus had. That is compassion of meeting the needs of, of those who are less fortunate. Compassion for meeting the needs and providing hope to those who need hope. We wanna be serving out. By serving, we also wanna demonstrate the truth that we bring that we believe, the truth that we have in Jesus Christ, that he died for us, that he saved us, that he redeemed us. And we also want to be serving out of the call of Jesus and the command of Jesus and not serving out of our own guilt. The passage talks about guilt and and feeling guilty and she, you should never be serving in a position where you, you see a need and out of your own guilt or somebody uh, guilting you into a position that you, you kind of feel like you need to, you know, you're kind of forced to volunteer. We want you to be serving out of the love, life, compassion, the truth in which you have. We want to serve out of that, that compulsion that, that Jesus plants in your heart, the vision that he has. That's where you find effective volunteers and effective leaders. They serve out of the heart that Jesus gave to them. 
meeting the needs of the community, meeting the needs uh, and the vision of the church. So let's, as we, as we prepare for, for Sign Up Sunday, as you, as you think about what you're going to volunteer in this year, let's serve as Jesus did out of the heart of the Father, the heart of Jesus, now serving at to, for a certain mission in his vision and serving as the church now to grow the church, to expand the church, and to build the church up in faith. So let me pray as you consider what area of ministry you want to serve in this year. Lord, we thank you for, for your heart that you've given to us the heart to serve and to love and to, and to live and, and the heart of compassion, Lord, and the truth that you've given us. Lord, we thank you for your love. Lord, it compels us. We thank you that you've commanded us to volunteer in various ministries and, and in your work. Lord, help us as we decide on what area to serve in uh, and help us to be bold in stepping out and taking uh, that chance and that decision to see where you would like us. Amen. Keep walking with God, talking to him as you're thinking about this, where can I serve? And, and listen, let him talk back to you. And as you read the Bible, read the scriptures and look to him to speak to you and trust and obey that his words and what he's told you is truth. And keep looking for opportunities to serve and to bless others on your front lines. We'll see you soon.